Trey, always good to be with you. Thank you for having me. Can we do a couple of lightning round questions that were sent to me from our listeners, sure. your constituents? Can we do that real fast? Sure. All right. Sure. And these are just real lightning round, really fast ones. Uh, drug testing for welfare. Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, yes, and not only do I think it's a good idea, I introduced legislation last year uh, to allow it, and it passed into law. And so that was a bill I successfully passed last year. Uh, the Obama administration had put in regulations preventing it uh, and, and essentially shutting down the Texas state legislation that had allowed drug testing for unemployment benefits. And so I introduced uh, legislation to, to reverse those Obama regulations and passed them into law last year. Cannabis. Um, we had a caller that said his son has seizures and uh, they use cannabis on his neck as an oil to rub into his neck. And he'd like to have the, the uh, Schedule One removed from that. What are your thoughts on that? I, you know, I'm a big believer in federalism and, and, and the Tenth Amendment. I, I, mm-hmm. I think that that, that that should be a question for the states. It, it's a question on which reasonable people can disagree. And I think the state of Texas can make one decision and other states like Colorado and Washington state can make a different decision. And, and so from the federal perspective, I would leave it to the states and, and let each state reflect the values and policy judgments of the, of the citizens of the state. 100 percent in agreement there. And uh, that is one of the reasons that I support you so strongly. I, I really believe in this idea of, of federalism, the Tenth Amendment, the power belongs to the people. Uh, that's where the power needs to 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 rest. And when we look at something such as the, the Supreme Court, and we'll just wrap up with this. The the left has used the Supreme Court as a legislative body. They've used the entire court system as a yep. legislative body because they couldn't get their whack job proposals put through the normal legislative process. And one of the reasons the giant freak out about Brett Kavanaugh right now that he's going to kill women and we're going to see women dying in the streets if he goes on the Supreme Court is because the left is losing their control of the Supreme Court to use it as a legislative body. This is good for all Americans, left, right right, whatever, all Americans need to realize the Supreme Court needs to go back to the originalist point of view, interpret the Constitution, don't make law, don't be a legislative body, interpret what the Constitution says. Those are my feelings. That's exactly right. And, and, you know, fundamentally, this this is a debate uh, about a return to democracy. Mm -hmm. Uh, What what the far left wants, you're exactly right. They they, they have a hard time convincing uh, the citizens to adopt their positions, and so they go to the courts, and they, they just try to get five unelected judges to decree the outcome they want because they can't convince the voters. Well, th- that's not the way our Constitution should operate, and, and, and it ought to be up to the people. It, it, we don't, nobody should want to be governed by five lawyers in, in robes mm-hmm. in Washington, D.C., uh, and – and, you know, the beauty of our country, we've got wonderful diversity across this country. Nobody would expect Texas to be governed like California. And frankly, I wouldn't expect California to be governed like Texas. That's right. You, you can choose where you want to be. You can choose, you know, if California decides they want to adopt medicine, you know what, I think that's their prerogative. Now, it, it may well bankrupt them. I think it's a bad policy. I think it'll hurt people. But, you know, if you don't like that, you can, you can pick up and move. And they may discover the jobs go away. Mm -hmm. What the Democrats do is mandate bad solutions across the country so that you can't flee. You can't get away from it. And, 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 you know, former uh, Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis referred to federalism, to the 50 states doing different things, as laboratories of democracy. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Colorado's legalized pot. Well, We've had academic debates about that for a long, long time. We'll, you know, it may be a good thing. It may be a bad thing. But we'll see how it plays out now. And, and I'll tell you, if, if the crime rate starts skyrocketing in, in Colorado, if we see teen drug use going up, if we see property values going down, if a lot of the negative consequences play out, then other states may be less eager to go down that road. But, but we, we can have each state mm-hmm. reflect the values uh, of the citizens living there. I appreciate your time as always, sir. Thank you for being here.